Hello, guys. Professor David here again, guys. Pay attention. Got another video for you today, guys. Guys, this is important because once again, guys, I am going. This is the holiday season. I'm giving you something, guys. This is Christmas. It's a gift. I'm giving you something. I'm gonna break it down even more so. Guys, I made videos on a whole bunch of stuff, and you know what? I, I got so much information that is stupid. I'm gonna show you later how much information I have. But, instead of just keep throwing more and more and more stuff at you, and you are not embracing and taking in the information I've given you already, guys, I'm gonna try to do a better job of getting you to understand why why you need to know this? It's no different. As a parent, you guys are out there, your parents, you tell your son or your daughter, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. If you say it to them one time, two times, they're gonna blow you off. You have to keep saying it over and over and over and over again. My father used to always tell us my family, my brothers, my sisters, they used to always say to us, you know right from wrong. You know right from wrong. You know how to do the right thing and do the wrong thing. You know the difference. Okay? We taught you, we're teaching you, we raised you a certain way. You understand the difference between right and wrong. So if you go out there and do something that we told you not to do and you get yourself in trouble with the law, that's on you. My father would sit us down. It was an every week, sometimes every day thing we were walking out the door. Hey, before you leave this house, remember you represent your parents. Understand, you know right from wrong. And we used to have to turn around, yes sir, I understand. We used to have to tell them that. Yes sir, I understand. You know right from wrong, so do the right thing. Because he said if you ever go to jail for something or get caught by the law for doing the wrong thing, do not waste that opportunity to talk to me. I'm not going to help you. Call a friend. Because I will not get caught up with any prison system because we taught you right from wrong. You were brought up in the house of God. You were brought up with religion. So you know better. You wasn't brought up out there with no parents and you wasn't brought up with no God. I'm telling you what he told us. So I'm not preaching to you. I'm just telling you the message he gave us every day. Hey? So make sure you don't blow that phone call and call a friend. Because if you call us and you did the wrong thing, we're just going to hang up on you because you're on your own. And let me tell you how important that message was. Because the first time he said it, we're like, ah, to hell with it. Second time he said it, we blew him off. Third time he blew it off. Man, but we got to understand this dude is not joking. He's not joking. We get in trouble. He's not going to help us. We do something bad, he's not going to be there. We're on our own to make our better choices for ourselves. That's why in one of our shirts, it says, you have a choice. Make a choice to do the right thing, to do the wrong thing, to get better or to get worse. And we never forgot that. That's why every single one of my family members never got caught up in the law. Never did anything to break the law because we knew we didn't have no safety net. We didn't have one of those parents that would come running to our defense even if we were wrong. That wasn't the kind of parents we had. You were wrong. You were on your own. Back to the video and the self-defense. See, guys? So now, I'm telling you this because the importance of this video, the three-foot rule. You heard me say it. You heard me mention it. Over and over and over and over again. 
how important the three foot rule is. But hopefully today, just like my dad, I'm gonna say it again and again and again and again until you get it in your head that this will save your life if you understand it. I'm gonna bring Kenny in here now try to break this down for you one more time. So pay attention. Guys, at the three foot rule, if we're both standing at the three foot rule, Kenny, put those weapons down for a second, please. This man cannot reach out and touch me. He cannot reach out and touch me. He cannot kick me. If I'm on the three foot rule and he's at the three foot rule, he can't kick me, he can't touch me, he can't grab me. In order for him to do anything like that, Kenny has to break the three foot rule. Then he could choke me, one hand grab, two hand grabs, body grabs, do all these different grabs, but he has to break the three foot rule. Now, if he has a weapon, a knife, same thing. A knife is a short distance weapon. Kenny cannot stab me or cut me or slice me if he do not break the three foot rule. Once he breaks the three foot rule, now he can do all kind of paddings, all kind of stuff on me, and he can work the blade. Okay? Now, are you understanding this? He has to break the three foot rule. Now, if he has a stick, which is a longer weapon. Yes, he can touch me, but nobody who wants to hurt you is going to do this. He's, here like this. He's gonna step in and apply energy and power if he wants to work that weapon against me. Okay, he must. That's the only thing. Can you can't do it any other way? way? Nobody's gonna do it. It's not if I'm, I'm in rage, I wanna take his head off. I'm not going to do it from here. You got to step gotta in. Step in. And you guys may understand. You said, well, I'll just jump back. What if you have no back? What if this is it? Can he still have to break the three-foot rule? Now, if he has a gun. Now, a gun is a long-distance weapon. Yes, he can shoot me and hurt me and end my life from that distance with a gun. The point I'm making with the three foot rule with a gun is I, me, the person he's trying to hurt and kill cannot do anything to shut that down outside the three foot rule. I cannot do disarms from this distance. I can touch it. But if he, I motion and he sees me motion, he's gonna pull the weapon back and I can never get an opportunity to grab that weapon. He has to break the three foot rule. Now, at this distance, I could try any one of the number of techniques that I've learned. Try from whatever position or angle he's holding the weapon. But this has to be done inside the three foot rule. Guys, I have showed you reality videos. I showed you real videos. And every one of those videos, in order for the guy to intimidate the other guy or to pull out a weapon against the other guy or to hurt the other guy, guys, he broke the three foot rule. You don't believe it? Don't take my word for it. Just take a look at the videos. The three foot rule, guys, it is vital. Now watch this. Watch those videos and watch what happens. Now you're seeing it go on right now. Three foot rule broken. Again and again and again. What is it going to take for you to understand how important the three foot rule is? It will save your life. So guys, learn it, understand it, burn it into your memory. How important the three foot rule is. Kenny, talk to them. Guys, the three foot rule is always being applied. That's the beauty of it. But are you applying it or is it being applied to you?
Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Hit that notification bell, all right? Hit the notification bell right now, guys, right, right now. So you'll be able to get all of the new content that we have coming up. We will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you again for all your support.